Why your prophet kisses stones? Okay, Jesus, Jesus do more actually. Worse actually. Ah, he play with his so mother boobs. Tell me why he's doing he, that. He play with his mother what? You must be okay. You see, you, see, you see guys, you see guys, you see guys, you see how you see how savage they are. We are the Arab, we are the one who made Islam, and we are the one who is going to expose it and destroy it. Are you leaving Islam? No, I'm never leaving it. You will leave Islam. You will wait. Just wait. You are leaving Islam. In, in, inside your heart, you are saying this is garbage. This is, this is why you are so silent. You have nothing to say. Yes, because I love Jesus. <laughs> no, you see, you have no answer. And this is a great example about what happened to Muslims. They come to us. They don't understand their books. They don't understand our books. And this is a great example about Muhammad himself, that he's a donkey. Because if the one carry a book, but yet he cannot read it, the first one to, to, to say that to him is Muhammad, because Muslim, they claim he cannot read. Here we go. This is your prophet saying, the likeness of those who carry those books are like donkeys. Did your prophet and your God Allah say the word donkey? So if the word donkey is an insult, why your God Allah saying, okay, say they are ignorant. Say they, they should educate themselves. Why they are donkeys? So obviously the, the word donkey hit the nerve. I called him son of Muta. Well, if calling you son of Muta is an insult, that's mean your prophet was a very bad person because he is the one who established the Muta, which means you just acknowledge that Muta is a prostitution, which means you are saying that Christian prince, he insulted me by saying to me that my mother, she was doing Muta. So that's mean Muhammad was teaching your mother to be a bad woman. So you just approve to us that your prophet is a filthy man he was promoting muta nobody promote muta before him and no one promoted after him this is the teaching of islam and you are the one who just made the comment he called me son of muta after i have damaged his reputation my friend my reputation is dear you know as you see more people live in islam and my book sales is increasing and you don't dare even to call me because you're a potato muta is considered as a kind of rental kind of what of rental because general man basic aim is kind of marriage this is marriage is a sexual enjoyment so we have a god he approved to rent women and this is halal and they admitted that muta is a prostitution and the question is as long you admitted that muta is a prostitution what kind of god he approved prostitution but i know i know he will say the prophet he forbid it later Okay, why he approve it in the beginning? Secondly, who is the stupid he said to you he forbid it? The hadith? Will we have more authentic hadith says no? Okay, and then he mentioned muta. They are practicing muta, brother, renting women. Whereupon he said, yes, we had been benefiting ourselves by this muta during the lifetime of the Prophet and during the time of Abu Bakr and during the time of Umar, which mean long after Muhammad's death, the Muslims by Umar, by Abu Bakr, they are practicing muta. What kind of a filthy cult practice such a thing? Is that your brother? How come you don't go against him? We Muslims, we speak with respect. Muhammad Hijab, Mimi Hijab, posting in a Twitter against the apostate prophet. Why would this incest endorsing Islamophobe who may be attempting to sexually lure his sister. We Muslims, we speak with respect. Hold on. Forget about Mimi and Fifi. Fifi get upset because I called him a donkey and he get upset because I called him son of Muta. But both of them, they are coming from Islam. I'm using your Islamic language. What about this? The one who is proud about his inheritance in the time before Islam, tell him to go and bite his father penis. And look at the Muslim translation, brother. Bite his father penis because we can bite him. You Muslim bite people? You see the first translation? In Arabic it says, I do, I do. Tell him to go and bite the penis of his father. Where is the dignity? This is your Islamic website. Fatwa number 121823. And the scholar is answering detailed discussion about hadith 
tell him to bite his father male member an atheist asked me how could the messenger of Allah breathe upon him speak obstance obstance words when he is a prophet such tell him to bite his father male member now here the Muslim they start saying the prophet is very polite blah 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 okay but this is what where is the answer Abu Bakr he said to one of the Muslims go and suck the clitoris Umsus badr al-lat. Do you see it? What the word badr mean? Clitoris. This is the hadith. It is sahih. And this is sahih al-Bukhari. And this is the hadith number. 2731. This is your prophet. Close your ears, please. Because now the Muslim, they will record me and they will say, look what a Christian prince he said. He will cut the video. Did your prophet say to a Muslim, a Muslim man, did, sorry guys, I'm going to say the word as it is. Just to show you how filthy they are, yet they claim that the one who speak in a language which including those words, he cannot be Christian. He cannot be religious. This is not nice, not polite. Your prophet said to a Muslim woman, Anik taha? Anik taha? What Anik taha mean? Did you F her? Did your prophet use such a language? And look at the Muslim translation, brother. Very honest translation. He said to him, Did you have intercourse with her? He did not say, Did you have intercourse? You liars. He said, Did you F her? You just exposed your prophet because you just said that the one who speaks such a language, he cannot be a good person. He either neither a Christian and neither he is a prince. Okay, that's mean your prophet he is neither a Muslim, neither he is a prophet. Any woman in Islam, she put perfume, and this is Sahih, by the way, they will say to you, Sahih, Christian prince, Daif. This is Daif, Christian prince. Everything in Islam is Daif. Anything, anything is Daif. Hmm? Any Muslim woman, she put perfume, she go to the speaker corner, she is a whore. The prophet, he said the filthy word to the point in the hadith, they did not say it. Look what they said. She is this, she is like this and that. The Muslim took it off and they put meaning an adulteress. Did your God Allah promise you women with big boobs in the Quran? This, this is why I use it. <laughs> Otherwise, there is no reason for me to use it. What kind of God he promised me women with big boobs? Or what about your prophet or God? He described what is inside the women's vagina. Imagine Christian prince is trying to invite people to Christianity. And he tell them, I will give you women. If you believe in me, I will give you women. And I will describe for you what is inside their vagina. Does the Quran, chapter 55, verse number 56, describe what is inside the women's vagina? And this is your translation. There is no one who... Allah will admit to paradise, but Allah will marry him to 72 wives, two from the Horis and 70 from his inheritance from the people of hell, all of whom will have desirable front passages. Your male, your male member, Adnan Rashid, will never go limp. This is the language of a prophet. This is an interpretation for a hadith about the Prophet saying that he put his penis between his, her, her four legs. Have you ever heard of a woman she has four legs? This is the interpretation for the explanation for the hadith. This is the commentary of Al Imam al Nawawi. All right. Our companion have said that if the penal head of what? Of the penis had been treated a woman anus or a man anus or an animal vagina or it is anus then it is necessarily to wash so this is the important now in the topic guys look at this legitimate teaching this is your religion you are teaching muslims that you have to wash after having sex with man in his anus or an animal or vagina or it is anus I mean, we have to admit here, they are very clean. Whether the one is being penetrated is alive or dead. 
Our companion have said that intercourse occur when healthy male penal head could completely penetrates if a woman insert in her vagina an animal penis. What 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 she inserted? If a woman inserted in her vagina an animal penis, she must wash how a clean man. How a clean, how good teaching is, how amazing the teaching of Allah. And if she inserted a detached penis. ذكراً مقطوعاً. This is how it says in Arabic. ذكراً مقطوعاً. Muslim women, they cut the penis and they use it as a sex toy. A severed, ma a severed male member. Or a material aid, perhaps. There is two opinion, brother, about this issue. <laughs> oh, look at this hadith here. When the two circumcised part meet each other, what is that? The clitoris of the women and the penis of the man when they met. And look how they translate it. I mean, we can show you endless uh, uh, stories. This is your prophet. This is your religion. This is a Muslim website, actually, Shia. You know, Shia and Sunni, they expose each other. So here, the some of the Sunni morality, what morality they have, the, the Sunni? They have a lot of morality. If a woman does not have a husband and her lust become strong, and then some of our scholars say it is a principle for the women to take a crumbage. It is or which is a piece of leather worked until become in the shape like a penis. <laughs> if a man make a hole in a watermelon, the scholars, the highest Ibn al-Qayyim, Ibn al-Qayyim, one of the highest scholars of the Sunni, and has sex with it, has sex what? With, with what? Had sex with a hole in watermelon, or piece of da, or leather skin, or a statues, and has sex with it. Then this is the same as what we have said about before masturbation. I eat halal. Halal. Sunni morality, bestility can be performed during Hajj. Actually, this is true. The Hadith says. وَلَوْ وَطَأَ بَهِيمَ لَا يَفْسُدُ حَجُّهُ If he do F a donkey or an animal, Bahima is an animal. His Hajj is accepted by Allah. Is he lying, this guy from the Shia website? No, let me show you the reference. Hmm. All those references. Hmm. Is a وَطَأَ بَهِيمَ فَلَا يَفْسُدُ حَجُّهُ let us see this one. Here we go. Oh, hold on, hold on. This is a different book. Let me translate this one to you in English. This is the website here, by the way. This is Shia library, but this is a Muslim Sunni book. Translate to English, please. If a man, he did boom boom to a woman in her anus. If a man had sex with the animal in the hedge, that will not spoil the head. Like, what? If you have sex with an animal, Allah accept your hajj? What a good Allah. And if a man he do boom boom to his wife, to a woman, not his wife, a woman, in her anus, or he did boom boom to a man, awlata bi rajul, or he did boom boom to an animal. We did mention in the Sahih, we have that it is his hajj here is not accepted. And this is the opinion of Abu Hunayfa, which saying that doing boom boom to an animal will not destroy the hajj. And if you do, and, 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 and Dawood, uh, Imam Dawood, he said, uh, So uh, having sex with a man, or having sex with an animal will not destroy your hajj. It's lawful still. Uh, in the first hadith, Muhammad, he said, if, if, a, if a man found his wife having sex, he have to get four witnesses and they have to see the penis of the man go inside the woman's vagina, the same as the man, the same as the pen go in the ink or inkwell. Read it. ذَكَرَهُ fi فَرْجِهَا his penis in her vagina. So to prove adultery in Islam, you have to get what? 
you have to get four witnesses and the four men and they have to be men they have to see look at look at the muslim translation Christian friends don't say penis it's bad to say penis his sexual organ his penis going inside the women vagina where is the word vagina where is the word farja like a pen going in the inkwell look how clear and clean the language so when i read i'm reading filthy topic i'm not speaking filthy and those who they are playing victims they are the filthy by trying to hide the truth they try to frame you saying christian friends is not a good guy my friend you say good guy not good guy who said i am a good guy what does that mean no one is good but god I am here to get you busted, show everybody how filthy your religion. And don't forget to read my books, brother. Muslims are reviewing it very much. Sex and Allah, you will love it. Huh? Two parts. You will you will love it very much. Okay? A lot of stories there. Unbelievable stories. You know what I mean? So Christian Prince, he speak dirty because he's speaking about dirty prophet, dirty God, who promises vagina and penises endless penis women have one mile ass one mile ass why you are cheap man why you don't make it a mile and a half I and mean, what you will lose uh, and by the way where i'm going to get panty for this woman christian prince he used the word panty yes i use the word panty and speaking about your prophet what i will use as you see there's nothing there but vagina penis panty boobs nipples see you soon christ is lord and as always we got them busted. Thank you.